Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be setting up this dude. So, assuming you just got it, on the back here, let's start up right away. We're going to see this that we can lift up. So just put your finger in there and then just lift it up. So, with both fingers actually. And this is magnetic, so it's just going to come off. From here, we're going to take this out to activate it, okay? Because right now, the only reason it's not working, turned on, because this is preventing it, okay? So that's preventing the battery from hitting the charge. Now I do also want to mention that this right here is a screw that you got, and you can use another screw, don't worry about it. But this is your mounting screw. This is the screw that you're gonna need to mount it to your wall, if you want to use this one. And the way that this goes, it's like so. So you can mount this on your wall first. So you would take this, screw it on your wall, and then you take this, and then just put it on top. Since it's magnetic, it's just gonna stay there. Now that's the great thing about this type of mount. So you guys can see, this holds it just fine. Even like so, it does hold it. However, I wouldn't put it like that. I would put it on the side. Anyways, that's how you guys can mount it on your wall and turn it on. Now, before we do anything like that, we're just gonna download the app, which is the main thing. So get your cell phone out or your tablet and we're gonna download the app. So what we want to do is download WaveThinks Air app. So we're gonna go right into our app store. From our app store, we're just gonna look for that app. So we're just searching for the app called AirThings Wave. And here it is on the top. So this is how the app looks like. We're just gonna tap on Get. Now the app itself is 100% free. Don't worry about that. It should not cost you anything. And that's the name, AirThings Wave. Now we can tap on the app itself to take a closer look at it. However, it's only 55 megabytes, not gonna take that much space. And that's also why it's gonna download this fast. So it's almost done downloading. Once it's done downloading, we can just create our account. That's the first thing we have to do. So let's just open that up. Now we should see a screen like so. Just gonna go into next, 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 next. It gives you quick instructions of what everything means. So green is good, fair, and then poor. I think poor should be red. And actually, if you look at the instructions that came with your papers, it actually does tell you that right here, danger is red. And then warning would be that, which is fair, and then good is good. Anyways, let's just keep going with this. I'm gonna go on and get started. So right now, it's the point in time that we have to sign up. On the bottom, you will see sign up. It's very important for you guys to sign up unless you have a login already. So go ahead and sign up or login. So if you press on sign up, we're gonna see this screen. It's gonna say name, put in your current email, any email, can be your iCloud email, for example, your Gmail, Hotmail, anything. Create a password. Use a different password than what you use for your own personal email. Once you click on sign up, it's gonna send you a six digit verification code to your email. And then just put it in here and click on confirm. Once you press confirm, you're gonna see this screen. We can just press okay. And from here, we're gonna add our device. So before we do that, make sure your iPhone or tablet, whatever you guys have this app on, have the Bluetooth turned on. So make sure Bluetooth is turned on. So we made sure our Bluetooth is turned on. We're all set to go. And we're gonna go ahead and finally power this up. So right here, we have our battery. We're gonna take this out and we're gonna activate this. I'm gonna make sure just by taking out the battery, seeing that there's no piece of plastic in there, putting this back and then, right now I'm just gonna place this on top without the screw. I don't really need to, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. So here we go. As long as I do that, I'm gonna see this circle and that, that's a good thing. That means it's turned on for now. So what we're gonna do is add device and right now it found my device already. So just make sure to have it closed and we should be good to go. Let's just select it. Now this part, it just asks you kind of if you ever guys had a Nest Mini or anything like that, Google Home Mini, it's gonna ask you where is this in your house? Cause you could have a couple of these. For now, I'm just gonna select living room, but it could be anywhere or you can even customize this. So as mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and select living room, location, I'm just gonna select home for now. And at this point, it's gonna ask you to share your location. You can if you want to. If you don't, you don't have to contribute at all to randommap.com. So it's really your choice. You don't share or share. In my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and share my location. Once you go into next, it's just gonna download any updates. It's gonna update your device right now. Just make sure that your phone or your tablet is close to the actual device. So just to show you right here, there's no lights or anything on it. 
at this point in time. So don't worry about it. There's no lights or anything going on your device itself. It's all about your phone or iPad. It's gonna tell you that it's updating. After just a little bit, we should see this, rebooting the device. At this point, you might see these lights going on on your device itself. So you guys see that green going all the way around? That's because it's rebooting. That's perfectly normal. So after just a few minutes, you should see this, done. And then from here, device successfully added to your account. You should see a message like so. Tap on done. At this point, it's just gonna sync up. On the top, we should see your device's name or I should say where your device is at. So living room in my case, it's gonna be syncing. And just make sure to put it and just leave it there for a little bit and just let it be while it's syncing. So right now you should see that it says syncing up there and we're pretty much done. So at this point in time, we can just tap up here. And we're gonna see this up to date, air quality is good. And from here, just a little bit about other stats down here below that which are very, very important. But luckily everything's good, at least in this room. But at the end of the day, it does say that your sensor is calibrating day one out of seven. So we do have to leave that. Uh, if you guys tap on the side, you're gonna be able to see a little bit more right here information. This is more for later on though. So we can tap here, we can tap here, tap here, tap here, and tap here. So it, it is good to notice all of these stats, but we do have to wait. Just, just wait for this to do its thing, to get that calibration done, and then we can actually look at actual stats. For now, just leave it at one room and just leave it in that one room for now. Later on, you guys can move it around. For now, just leave it in that one room, okay? But anyways, that would be it for the setup of this guy right here. Remember, you do have settings on the top right-hand corner. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.